Okay, so in today's Retro Bat setup, guys, we are looking at a new emulator added to version 6 beta 2, which is SSF. So I've covered SSF in the past as a standalone emulator, and by far it's one of my personal favorite Saturn emulators. So today we're going to set this up through Retro Bat. I'm going to be showing you which files you need, how to make some adjustments to your video settings, and also how to get your controller working. Trust me, if you're a Sega Saturn fan, this video is gonna be just for you. This emulator free retro bat is awesome. Okay, before I start today's setup, guys, make sure you hit notification, subscribe, and like so you don't miss any upcoming retro emulation content, including this one, like I'm doing today, Retro Bat. So, today, I'm very pleased to announce that in the latest version beta, that is of Retro Bat, we've got the ability to download through Retro Bat SSF. And that's one of my personal favorite Sega Saturn emulators. I covered Sega Saturn for Retro Bat going back in early July. And since then, of course, we've had updates come, including this beta version. And I've actually covered SSF as a standalone emulator, and it's very good. Like I say, I regard SSF as probably my favorite Sega Saturn emulator. So we're going to go through a few things first. What I'm going to suggest is converting your games into .chd. So I've got Sega Rally Championship just here. And as we can see, this is quite a common file structure. File extensions are normally going to be in dot bins and dot queues like I've got just here. I've got a program called chdmon.zip. And what this does is compresses everything into one single image, which also saves you space on your hard drive. I'm going to leave the link in my description, but you can download chdmon just here. And that's going to download you a dot zip. And whilst I'm on web pages, I'm going to go over to the wiki for Retrobat Saturn. And this is the BIOS files that you're going to need. Now, technically, SSF works fine on a standalone version without BIOS files. That's one of the things what makes it good. But we're going to add these BIOS files anyway. So what we're going to do first is open chdman.zip. And you're going to find a chdman.exe and several bat files. So what we need to do in order to compress the bins and queues of the Saturn games into .chd is open up where your games are. Here's mine. So plenty of bin files as well as the .q at the bottom just here. And I'm going to left click on chdman and also left click whilst holding control on the one below it which is q to chd.bat if i drag these into the same folder as my dot bin and dot q saturn games they'll go inside just here and what we need to do to start the conversion is just double left click on the dot bat and that's then going to start converting into the chd image okay so whilst that's converting what we're going to do is go into retro bat because we need to download ssf from within Retrobat. Okay, so once you're inside a Retrobat, to download this, we're gonna go to the Retrobat icon, and inside of here, if we scroll down, we're gonna find SSF. And here it is, SSF Sega Saturn. So just click on this and it's gonna bring up an installer to, to install it. So just press yes on this. And as you can see, we've now got the emulator running, but we don't have anything to add to it yet. So if we just close this down, you quit application, okay. Okie doke, so let's back out of Retrobat again, so main menu. If we take a look at the conversion again, we can see it's done right at the bottom just here. We got Sega Rally Championship in CHD file. So that's all good. So what we can now do is delete all of the bins and queues and start saving some space. So to highlight everything all together, I've just pressed Control and A and that's highlighted everything. And what I'm going to do next is press Control and left click on the CHD file 
and then delete everything else and that's it that's all we've got left now is the chd file okay so next thing to do is just delete chd man once you finish with it we no longer need that but bear in mind you can still use this for other games okie doke so we're going to go to the retro back shortcut right click on it open file location and from here what we're going to do next is just go down to roms and we're going to find saturn and here's saturn so just drag your chd games inside of that rom saturn folder okay next thing we're going to do is just check that retrobat is installed ssf correctly so if we go into emulators if we scroll down we're going to find ssf which is just downloaded to and here's everything that retrobat has just downloaded so what i'm going to do next is just back out of here and i'm going to go into the bios folder and here is my BIOS files. I'm going to just loosely drag all five of these inside of the BIOS folder. So they're in there loosely, not inside any of the folders. So we're next going to open up RetroBat again. Okay, so we're back inside RetroBat and here's Sega Saturn. And if we enter inside, we're going to download some artwork. So let's do this. Main menu, scraper, and scrape now. And while that's scraping, if we just go to view options by press and select, advanced system options, emulator, I'm going to just scroll down to get to SSF. So that's now selected. And once that's been finished scraping, just go to main menu by pressing start, game settings, update game list, and yes. And here we go. So as we can see, it's now downloaded the artwork plus a preview video. So now we've got the emulator SSF selected. Let's just go inside the game. And you will find that your controls won't work just like happened to me. I can press start to enter the game. So we're going to go to main menu. And from the RetroBat directory, we're going to go into emulators again. And we're going to just go and find SSF once again. And if we open up the emulator from here, which is the second one up from the bottom, SSF.exe. So we're going to go to options. And we're going to select controller. And make sure Direct Connect is selected and Player 1 has Control Pad selected. Just press on Redefine and then do as it says and map this out with your controller. And once you've finished doing that, we're going to go to save to ssf.ini. Sega Rally Championship. Okay, so if we just quit out of here, the controller is now configured. Quit app. Okay. And now we're going to open up RetroBat again. And back in the Sega Saturn, and now open up the game. Sega Rally Championship. Three, two, one, go.
And as we can see, that's running really well. So if we go back to RetroBat, View Options, Advanced System Options, we can play with some video settings just here. So Smooth Games, just make sure this is either on Auto or on. Vertical Sync, we want to put this one to Yes. And under Video, Forceful Screen, we're going to attempt to try this and put this one to Yes. And Wide Screen, again, we're going to select Yes. Visual Rendering, you can add scan lines if you want to, but we're going to try this without. Sega Rally Championship. Three, two, one, go! Easy right! Easy left! Easy right! Over jump! Easy right! Long medium right! Check mark! Easy right! Over jump! That's it for today's retro bat and awesome Sega Saturn SSF emulator setup. So, like I said at the start of the video, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe, and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content that I upload pretty much every day on my channel these days. Also, be sure to check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And also, just remember that I do have playlists, and RetroBat playlist has stacks of videos at this point. So, anyways, until next time, stay retro.